Chapter 3, Royalties Now that we've discussed copyright, let's talk about royalties, the lifeblood of music creators, recreators, and rich record and publishing companies everywhere. Royalties are easiest understood as a form of rent payments. Consider that in the world of physical property, we have something called real estate. The word real is the Spanish word for king or royal. And at what one time across much of Europe, kings and nobles owned all the land. The citizens of the Middle Ages had to work the land in order to stay on it. Even today, your property tax has to be paid to governments, which carry on some of the functions of the royals of old. This brings us back to royalties. In the world of intellectual property, copyrights are real estate, owned by the royals, otherwise known as composers, songwriters, arrangers, and artists, along with their publishers, record companies, and record labels. People who want to make use of music are required to pay royalties to copyright owners. Four major kinds of royalties yield cash to music creators and recreators. Performance royalties. These are due whenever a piece of music is performed in public, live, or through recordings on TV, radio, and the internet. With the exception of religious services and certain nonprofit and educational uses. Performance rights societies such as ASCAP, BMI, or CSAC assist musicians in collecting these funds. Mechanical royalties. These are due whenever a piece of music is reproduced on cassettes, CDs, DVDs, and videos, but there is more to the video piece and also through the internet. The royalty rate for standard physical or digital reproduction of a song is 9.1 cents for pieces under 5 minutes and 1.75 cents per minute for pieces over 5 minutes. Licensing a ringtone costs 24 cents a minute. Licensing a song for interactive streaming is 1 cent per minute. Synchronization royalties. These are due whenever a piece of music is put into a movie, a television show, a documentary, a podcast, a video game, a TV commercial. The possibilities of music being combined with moving images are many. These royalties produce thousands of dollars for many composers. Print royalties. This, of course, deals with what happens when sheet music is sold. For many musicians, this source of royalties is often seen as being in decline, but it is still quite lucrative, particularly for those that use many instruments in their arrangements. There are also miscellaneous royalties that are due when a song is used as when its lyrics show up in a piece of literature and on and on and on. This category is sometimes the catch-all for whatever doesn't or hasn't yet been fitted into the other four categories. Much money is made and lost in this category because even if you don't know how to use some of the things in here, someone else does. Theoretically, one hit song can receive millions of dollars in royalties from all four major categories and pick up a lot of strange things in the miscellaneous department. In other words, one hit song can pull in millions of dollars over a few decades. Brothers Jeffrey and Todd Brabeck in their book Music, Money, and Success describe more than 20 sources of royalties a hit song can generate. Still, you may write a hit song and never see a dime of royalties. Much depends on your contractual relationships with the big companies of the music industry who are as eager to possess your hard-earned money as you are. 